All right. This is from Anissa. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm not very good at pronouncing names. <laughs> I'm a little bit dyslexic, to be fair. And so if I just see words written and it's not a word that I'm familiar with, my brain does a bit of a brain fart. Um, all right. Anyway, Anissa. Dear Tabitha, um, I have ex I've had extreme hunger for a little over a week now, and I frequently find myself eating over my hunger even until I feel sick. I don't like this and would love some advice on how to deal with the discomfort and shame after these binges or even how to feel satisfied but not sick, if that makes sense. Well, I tell you what, I did that so much. I ate beyond fullness so many times and I felt awful, like so sick, so many times. But guess what? It's not going to hurt you. It will be fine. And it's totally normal to do that in recovery. And... Um, the the main thing is that you're saying that you feel shame after these after these binges. That's something that you can control and you can work on because it's a choice to feel any kind of emotion. So you can feel, and it's also a choice to say, um, like you can feel shame but not be ashamed. Does that make sense? So there's a it's just a different kind of like um, a bit of language twisting there. But it's fine to say. I feel shame because you can't control your body bringing up the emotion of shame. But you can also then say, but I'm choosing not to feel ashamed. I'm choosing to ignore that shame. So those things are different things. So you can feel shame, but not be ashamed, which is absolutely what you should tell yourself, make yourself do in these situations. How to deal with the discomfort? I don't know. I never worked that out. I used to eat to the point where, oh my God, I just would feel so uncomfortable. And really, I would just go and lie down and wait for it to go away, which it ultimately would do. But what is important is that you don't allow that discomfort to turn into anything else than that. You're just uncomfortable because you ate a load of food and you ate a load of food because you've been stricting for a long time and that's what your body's going to need to do for a while. Don't allow it to turn into a big deal because it's not. It's not a big deal. It's not hurting you. Your body will deal with it. Your body chose to do it. Like, just think of it that way. You, Your body was the one that was like, I really want to eat all this food right now. So your body will deal with it. And all you need to know, and I pr you probably wrote me this a while ago, so maybe this is already true, but it doesn't last forever. At some point, your body will be like, okay, well, I don't need to do that anymore because food is coming in consistently enough. And so at some point, your body will naturally stop eating past that point of fullness that it's doing right now. It's doing that right now because it, it's desperate and it needs to, and that's fine. But at some point, if you continue to not restrict your body will stop doing that because your body doesn't like feeling like that either. But at the moment, it's choosing to because the intake of food is the most important thing to it. But when it, your body starts to feel like it's less in energy deficit and most importantly that your body starts to believe that food is not scarce anymore and it can have food whenever it wants, it will start to calm down on this. And so just write it out and... Try, I know this sounds weird as well, but almost try and enjoy it. And I really did get myself with that into that mindset where I just, I'd eat so much that I felt just so sick and all I could do was lie down and kind of like lie down and, and watch something. And I was watching a, because I was, it was a while ago and box sets were a thing like the actual DVDs. So I had this box set that I was watching. I'd just lie on the sofa and just watch that. And yeah, my tummy would hurt a bit, but you know what? I could deal with it. It's not the end of the world. And it, so in a, in a, you can make this enjoyable as well. Or you could choose to sit there and cry and wail because you feel so ashamed and you're letting that shame emotion get to you. I know, you know, this, the first one's easier. Don't allow the shame emotion to get to you. Know that it'll pass. Know that it's happening for a reason. Your body knows what it's doing. Try and enjoy it. Enjoy eating all that food. Just lie down and rest afterwards. That's my advice there.